I see these stories on June 19th, a date that most aren't even aware of. Like, what are they always selling up right on June 19th? Why is that? Why are they always doing that? What's up with these different communities, particularly with people of color with June 19th? Many aren't aware that it was one of the, it is the, one of the first celebrations of the ending of slavery in 1865. And that became a, a day where every year it was celebrated those newfound freedoms. And so what's exciting about that, that's one side of it, but it also later became uh, National Sickle Cell Awareness Day. It's a, a day where people who battle and have, have been advocates for sickle cell disease can make themselves known for um, or for bringing greater attention, funds, and even progress in where the sickle cell disease advancements have, have taken place. So today, unlike any other, after word from our sponsors, boy, do I have a guest that will knock your socks off as mine. I still don't have my socks on because of this guest. So <laughs> you don't want to miss it. Now a word from our sponsors. An average day in our household is really crazy. We're juggling a lot, so finding time for each other can be pretty tough. Mealtime definitely brings us together. Being able to come together at the table to eat and laugh is just fulfilling to our souls. Bon appetit. Teach your children. That's the time that we have together in this crazy world that is family. So it's time. Uh, many of you, I know a lot of you, during COVID, you had an opportunity to catch a lot of Netflix and uh, Amazon uh, uh, streaming. Well, with that, many of you were able to experience The Voice, which has been around for a number of years. I'm here today with it to interview the, the candidate or the guest of the NBC Voice, who has been known to be the premier guest of all guests on the show because of the talent, because of the story, and because of what we call the attractive character. So I'm going to let you intermeet her. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, join me in welcoming Tanisha Harris. Tanisha, how are you, my dear? Hi, Dwayne. <laughs> Happy Juneteenth to everyone. Thank you so much for having me uh, today. I appreciate it. It's a blessing. You know, it's Friday. Many people are thinking TGIF because they don't they don't have to work tomorrow and others are thinking it's payday. But for me, it's about, first of all, a celebration of of uh, the advancement in sickle cell disease and the progress that's been made, but also of the freedoms of uh, just a few generations ago for my for my family, many of our families, we were they were enslaved. And now we all can lock arms together with people of any color and yes, make a difference. Yeah. Absolutely. Tanisha, I'm blown away by your voice. And many of you, you're going to hear a clip of that in a moment. But Tanisha, you just took it home. Tell us, tell us about this new single that was released, I believe, on Sunday. What's yes. that about? What's the inspiration behind it? Uh, the single is Let's Change the World. Um, mm -hmm. Thank you so much for uh, uh, allowing me to speak about that for a moment. Um, you spoke about Juneteenth and the freedoms that we have now uh, been able to walk into, as well as Sickle Cell Awareness Day and just so many things that we are facing as a people um, today. And this song really talks about getting back to humanity. I think that is something that we have definitely gotten away from. Uh, we see people and often size them up by color, by religion, by sexual orientation, by 
um, any type of ailments that we may physically be able to see by social class. And the truth is, at the end of the day, we're all humans first. And if we can get back to recognizing one another as that first, then we'll realize that we're equal and we all belong here. So that was really the inspiration behind that song for me. I wanted to, to write a song, I think, that reflected the times that we're in and called us back to unity as a people. Wow. Well, let me tell you something. I, I, I saw that in several of the conversations that you've had on uh, The Voice. I saw what the, some of that, in, that desire to be a difference. Now, for me, because I'm an old man, I'm not young like you, uh, I think a lot of it comes with maturity. That's another thing that, that made me think about you as a, uh, as a candidate on The Voice. It was different. For many, they, can, they make up, they work to make up in what they don't have in the talent, by being youthful or being um, uh, some sort of a, a gizmo, you didn't need any of that, and that was beautiful. So, wow, in th you. thinking about this, 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 this inspiration, where can our users uh, grab the single? Because I, I personally love it. I'm going to play a clip in just a moment, but where can people get this? You can go to my website, www.tanishaharris.com. You can find it on Apple, iTunes, the uh, Spotify as well. Um, so, yeah, it is available. Please go and get it. We're also doing a 1K giveaway um, in the middle of July. We're doing July 16th. We're going to announce the winner. All you have to do is purchase the single and then post it using the hashtag Let's Change the World and hashtag Team Tanisha, and you'll be entered for a chance to win. Wow. Wow. Well, yes. I want to tell you something, Tanisha, at the Sickle Cell Council in Central Pennsylvania, we're not only getting CD, we want to enter for that drawing. So, hey, if, the council, <laughs> if the council wins the thousand dollars, it'll go towards helping a lot of our families who are battling this stuff and dealing with the, the ever cha uh, ever going challenges. So, wow. God that bless you. Thank you. Yes, that would be great. Now, if you're listening today, we're talking to Tanisha Harris of uh, the NBC's The Voice is where she started, but now she's releasing her own single and uh, many more singles to come. What's exciting for us is that where uh, much of the world is dark and don't understand that the number one blood hereditary disease in the nation is sickle cell disease, and it's one of the least funded we need champions like Tanisha who can be a difference and ensure that more people can be aware, but also more people can lock arms and want to be a difference. Now, as I say that, just listen to this clip of Tanisha as she delivers Change the World. Just got home, I turn on the news and see what they say. They say, hatred's on the rise, a nation so divided. Wow. So what did you think? Yes, she's dynamic. And the very principle of changing the world is something that everybody talks about and has talked about for decades and centuries. But what I love about what you're doing, Tanisha, is that not only do we see that you mean it, but I think we're going to hear a little bit more about uh, why it's important for you to want to change the world as I bring you to this next question. You know, we know there is quite a ride just to get to be a, a contestant on The Voice. You did that. You did it beyond the norm. And I think it was beautiful. But my question is, do you have a specific moment that became made it a great experience for you during that time? Because you made it to be a finalist. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about that ride for you. First, Dwayne, it was amazing, and I will always proudly wear the crown to be the first African-American female to make it as far as I did, to make it to the runner-up spot. So there were several amazing moments, but I have to honestly say it was the very beginning of the journey for me that was most amazing because 
um, I had taken several years off uh, for do of doing music just to be uh, a mom. My, my wow. son had been diagnosed with leukemia in 2011. And at that time, um, you know, I was angry with God. I was doing most of my singing in church and I just kind of stopped singing and shut down. I would occasionally do praise and worship here and there, but it just wasn't the same. I had stopped everything and um, just took a step back. And so I didn't really think that I would have an opportunity to uh, do this actually. And I was supposed to audition for The Voice the very month, the very year that my son was diagnosed. Um, oh my. And I was not able to go. And my son, I remember he looked at me from his hospital bed and he said, mom, I still want you to go. And I said, absolutely not. I'm not gonna leave you. Um, I'm here to be exactly what you need me to be. And if it's meant to be, it will come back around. And I'm not sure if I, if I really believed it when I said that to him, but who would have thought that eight years, nine years later, I'd get the opportunity to actually go on that stage and prove to not just the world, but to myself and to my son that dreams still do come true. Anything is possible. Um, when you do what you need to do in that moment and priorities, family always comes first, that you still will get an opportunity. And I hope moms and dads hear me, that you still will get the opportunity to do the things that you dream to do, that you want to do, you hope to do. Um, sometimes we put that on the back burner because we're parents first and there's nothing wrong with that. Our children need us and your children need you in special ways right now. And so I encourage you to still hold on to your dreams. And when you get that opportunity, go after it because I promise it will come again. Wow. I needed that myself. God oh, bless wow. you for that. Um, the encouragement goes beyond, uh, the fight for sickle cell disease as that's what we many of us are here to do it's about the fight in general it's, to be a parent is a fight anyway right yes, and yes to be a parent and have no control you really realize just how vulnerable we all are when you fight yes. such things so god bless you for that and your son so how's he how your son how's your son doing now he is doing amazing. I'm happy to report that. And, and you know, every time that I say that, I definitely am not um, unaware of the fact that many cannot say that, do not have sure. that testimony. Um, and so I'm very, very aware of that. And my heart is tender to that. But I am very um, happy and blessed to be able to say that he is doing well. And he's about to graduate from college at the end of the year. And um, we're just really, really proud of him and his accomplishments. And we continue to push him every day. Uh, yeah, I'm grateful for that. You heard it right here, Tanisha <laughs> Harris. And let me tell you something. Don't believe it? You will. Check it out. Take out this brief clip of I want to know where love is. And I'm going to tell you something. I just found out where it is as I heard that story about the eight year battle with Tanisha and for Tanisha and her son. Check it out. We're here, Juneteenth, June 19th, sickle, National Sickle Cell Day. Wow. We are here talking with Tanisha Harris, and we've hearing, we're hearing about a story of one that is a mother battling with her son, one who says beyond all obstacles and stumbling blocks, she insisted on making it a stepping stone, just as many of you and us can do. So now, as we get back, I want to conclude with Tanisha and encourage you all, if you haven't done so yet, feel free, please. We are looking to be a difference and change the world. You can actually go to DonateSCD.com um, and make a donation to assist us in battling this horrific disease with so many families, particularly since COVID, who are unable to manage just their uh, 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 simple uh, pain management 
and back and forth to emergency rooms and so many other things and the loss of jobs, whatever you can do to assist, um, it would be a great help. Now, as we get back to you, Tanisha, I would love to conclude with something. Maybe you can leave us with a, a great note. Don't worry, I'm not going to ask you to sing unless you want to. <laughs> you don't want me to sing. We want. <laughs> okay. I, I would love to leave our listeners with this note. Um, I would love it if you, on this National Sickle Cell Awareness Day, could leave us with a word that is a word of encouragement, something that you feel you would, I mean, something you can leave us with that will inspire and help the families who are battling with this or the individuals themselves um, as they have this horrific lifelong fight. Mm. Uh, you know, Dwayne, when my son was going through his cancer journey, one of the things that we said as a family that really quickly became our mantra is no one fights alone. Wow. And I really just want to leave that with all of the families and the listeners today, whether you are a supporter or someone who is walking through this journey yourself. I just want to remind you that no one fights alone. I know there are often times that you will feel like you are alone and it will feel like the world is going on and passing you by. I certainly remember that feeling. Um, but I just want to remind you and encourage you that even in your darkest time, you have a whole community of people that love you, that support you, that are fighting with you, that are walking with you, and you really do not and are not fighting alone. And I know that it may not seem that there's an end to this, um, but I am praying for you. I am standing with you. I hear you, I see you, I feel you, and I certainly hold you in my heart. And I am asking all of you who can to donate, to give as we continue to walk and fight, uh, to work toward a, um, a cure for this and this is not the end so we're holding on to that my gosh you have thank you so much many aren't aware but after three and a half years of being transfusion dependent i understand that and yeah. thank god that i wasn't alone to battle for those those years with the people that i love most so thank you and that is an encouragement and i will share this and make sure that through our scd scd stories family that everyone will hear this we're going to get that CD. If you haven't done so yet, get out there. You can see it on the screen. Pick up that new single and make sure yes. that you're a part of it. Tanisha, yes, yes, yes. as we prepare to say goodbye, we'd love to have you back for one of our fundraisers or dinners or even maybe a small concert because we do love, love you okay. and we consider you part of our family. <laughs> Thank you. I absolutely consider you as part of my family too, uh, Dwayne. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you all for just watching and listening for a few moments, allowing me into your homes. And you can follow me on social media, Facebook and Twitter, Tanisha Harris. On Instagram, I am Tanisha Harris. I'd love to have you. Go to my website, sign up to be a part of my superheroes um, fan club. Uh, that's a song that I wrote for my son. And I definitely feel like all of you are superheroes in my book. Keep fighting, guys. Uh, we love you. All right, we'll see you next week as we prepare for the next SED story that will help and change and inspire you and your family. God bless you. Take care. <laughs>